Here we go. Got some apps and stuff opened. Yeah. Da -da -da. That's working great on ADSB actually. That's working good on the uh, ADSB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't want Easy Pal. Yeah, anyway. Not with it, I'm too tired. But I haven't been live for a couple of days, so I figured. I'd better go live and see. Been too damn busy. <clears throat> Work and then coming home and doing DIY. <laughs> Air taxi. Say then, it's actually not working too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen a couple hundred, I've seen a few, cup 200 nautical miles. In fact, that westerly coverage is huge. My my easterly coverage is not as good. I think I'll gap there. That being said, the skanking does have a slight lean to it. So, could be something to do with that. Could just be something, could be the fact that the back of my house, the field, the back sort of slopes down, so it's probably giving me slightly more coverage. Uh, here we go. Let's see how my Ethernet is holding up. Uh. <laughs> That'll do. That will do. Ah, oh, uh, it's a fucking dynamic IP anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If I reboot the root, it'll change again. Nine ten down, a hundred up. I can live with that. <laughs> Uh, Uzbekistan. Why is that a different picture of an aeroplane to everyone else's? So that though, the last few nights, I've seen a few fighter jets on here. They've got some cool, cool sides as well, like there's Chaos 412 and Vandal 1 and Vandal 2 and um, oh, which one? Warlord. I saw one, one with a cool side, cool side Warlord. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. I love the military sense of humor, man. It's the one thing I do miss about being in the Navy, is the old military sense of humor. To be honest with you, years later, as a civilian, I still fucking struggle in the military sense of humor. Uh... In, in, in the real world, because people are too fucking sensitive nowadays. And I have to be fucking careful of what I fucking talk about. Just because, as I said, you know, military sense of humor is a little bit childish, to be honest with you. It's great. 
this is working nicely actually I'm, I'm quite impressed with that especially as the RTL SDR V4 is supposedly slightly weaker signal than the uh, uh, SDR play I mean it is missing a couple ah it's Bristol though that's yeah it's only 8,000 feet that's why that's not picking that one up it's too low Oh, bloody hell. Sorry about that. Tenerife to Newcastle. That's there. So, Tenerife to Manchester. I reckon, just as that starts to approach Exeter, I'll sort of go just past Exeter. That'll start to pop up. I suspect. Any minute now. Yeah, I think to be honest with you, it's looking all right. All those aeroplanes at Amsterdam. Oh, come on. No, he's not past exit yet. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. I lived here at one point. I lived... Doodle doo. Doodle doo. It's uh, not Kia. Uh, Fleet Accommodation Centre. There we go. Salt Ash Road. Somewhere down there, actually. Because, uh. Yeah, where's Ten Dot? Been a while, actually. Four point ferry, yeah, we weren't that close. That's ten dock there. And yeah, there you go. That's new. Or is that not? Maybe I'm looking somewhere else. No, that's right in the corner, I'm sure. That's nine and ten. There yeah, it was. The submarines used to get berthed along there. Do 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 do. Yeah, they are be on there. No, no, it won't be. Why are you not fucking picking that one up? Oh, I'd be just going past XF there at the moment. Ah. Auto to Leeds. That's, wait a minute. That should be right in my fucking range. Camel foot, um, yeah, yeah, it should be. My range? Yeah, it's there. That should be well within my range. Or... Both those should be as well. I'm getting there. In all fairness, the RTL SDR V4 is working. Not bad on the H HF and VHF. Just, yeah, it's not too warm, but luckily that window is in is quite cold. So actually, I'm... Uh, yeah, it's working all right. It's not picking as quite as many, I don't think. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I look, TFS to Manchester. So it's just come into range there. That's that one. So TFS to Leeds. Probably won't be too far behind. I'm a bit concerned that that Porto one hasn't come in yet. But, you know, he'd be about, what, there maybe? So, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll pick it up soon. <laughs> yeah, it's got those few there. Do, 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 do. Right. I haven't got many over Manchester. Look, Luton to Dublin. I should have that. But I don't. Hmm. It's at 34 Fow as well, so yeah, I should definitely have that in my range. But did not be there. Yeah, see, it's odd. The, I mean, it's working. Obviously, clearly it is. It could just simply be the fucking software. It's a very old bit of software, this is.
Yeah, it's done. It's working. Uh, no military maneuvers tonight. Oh, bollocks. Zoom in. Zoom in. No. I'm a bit concerned that that auto... That one there, that should definitely be on the old range at this point. So what little island is that? Lundy. You know what? I never knew there was a fucking island. Just randomly there. Lundy Airstrip. Oh look, is that a Devon and Cornwall border going through the middle of this fucking island? How bizarre, Devon, Devon. So what's that? So I don't know, that's Devon as well. The fuck's the Devon and Cornwall border going straight through the middle? That'd be fucking hilarious if that was the case. Yeah. Lundy. I have ne I ain't never heard of that place before. Oh, look, there it is. OPO to LBA. Yeah, this has gone past Lundy. Yeah, so that's quite within my range. I suppose it all depends on A, how powerful the aircraft transmitter is, B, the atmospheric conditions of the day, C, the receiver, D, the antenna. So actually, yeah, in all fairness, it is working quite well. In fact, I have had a couple of 200 nautical mile ones uh, or almost touching Ireland with the RTL SDR. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to try and have a look at the handbands, 2 meter and 70 centimeter ones. See if there's any action on this. So. Get it playing. Murder as well. It's like a, a whole series of. of hey, uh, we have got action. That you can stack up, uh, you know, an aerial tuner and a transverter and all this, that, and the other. That's the way it was done back in 1980. So that four-pin Jones plug, I haven't got that cable. So all I've got is crop clips at the moment, which limits what I can do. But. I know you can use spade terminals on them. If I make up some uh, a cable with some spade, yeah, yeah that's the best now, game level there. Keep my eye out for a four-pin Jones uh, flying socket um, at the rallies, or a chassis chassis socket would do the job. Actually, any old thing that it's just got the right um, uh, contacts, and then uh, tomorrow when I've got more time because I've been working today. Yeah, just link those pins and make a proper power cable, put a big fuse on it, and just wind it up and see what it does. Um, well, it might just work. Let's see, Lee. I, I couldn't... I saw it listed, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. 145473. I wonder what repeat this one is. I went for a bike ride. It's very clear. And I considered it on my bike ride. And on my way back, I thought, if that's still going, I'm going to nab it. Because <laughs> it was by now. I got back, and it was still there, so I nabbed it. Go ahead. That's weird. If it's a repeater, why am I not getting the other half of the conversation? Oh, wait a minute. One four five four seven three isn't an output from the repeater. I was probably picking up the guy's actual transmission, so I'm probably only getting. The guy. I wonder where he's actually broadcasting from there. He's got to be quite local, I reckon. Because that signal was rather clear. Oh, hello. What's this turned up here? Oh, yeah. We're getting some action on tonight. Get some DMR. See if I can get DSD Plus working. That's, uh, that's probably just a channel fucking beacon, though. <laughs> No doubt. Uh, a marker beacon. This is fucking... 
repeat uh, on DMR mode or something. Hmm. I think a seat set right. What do you want? One click back from where I was. Why not? That might be right up. Oh, oh. Ah, it's Evid. Fingers are sticky from those fucking sweets. Here we go. Let me just put that back in my pocket. Fire a message off to me, mate. Now, I've spoken to him since I uh, spoke to him yesterday. I've been just feeling a little bit out of my depth for my new job. I think I'll be alright, but it's just been quite overwhelming in the last couple of days. DMR is intriguing me. It's probably just a channel marker. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, it's going back to landlock mode. That's a little fucking... Ah, oh, hello. He's talking again, that dude, I reckon. Go for back for it. He's lovely and strong. You know the only thing I drive is minibuses. <laughs> when I get in a car with anyone, I feel like I've got my backside on the road. So that'll take some getting used to, for sure, but... <laughs> Probably seem quite familiar to me because, of course, I'm driving a Mercedes Sprinter all the time. Um, what will be interesting with that shift of driving style that comes with it, Lee, is to compare the power consumption. Um, have you got kilowatt hours over a week or a month or something from the Tesla? It'd be interesting to compare the power consumption between the two, go ahead. That squelch off. Nothing there. Let's turn the gain up. It's just what it's the background noise, isn't it?
getting one guy lovely and clear, and the other guy is just not existing. Hmm. That's just a noise spike, I know that. Hello, is that somebody around? I do want to see how quick Steam downloads update. <laughs> 900 meg down. That'll do. Yeah, I can turn the limiter off now, can't I? Uh, um, bum, bum, bum. Downloads. <laughs> no limiting download speeds anymore. Right, update. 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 Fuck it, can I update more? Yeah, there we go. Update, 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 update. update. Yeah, do them all. Update everything. I want to see how quick it does it. Yeah, that's not bad. And yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's still updating down beats. When did that become a... Nice. That was quite fun when I played that with Skaz. Skaz, uh, Zaber, and who else was it? Was it Ram? No, it wasn't Ram, was it? It was. Jet, I think. I don't think it was Divine. But that fucking speed is rather. Zippy, I can live with that. We're still updating Mac Train 3, anyway. But I just do it better connection, I want to do it test out while I'm playing with the SDR. This is, I think these are the Radio China harmonics. I have a bad habit of doing this. I go AM. the VFO and move it. Yeah, okay. Let's go up to 77 meters. That's my gain up. Nope. Let's put the gain to yeah, go be a decent level there. Turn squelch off so I can make it. Hmm. Right. The only downside with this. is that you can only view two meg at a time, so... Hmm. 
Come on, please be someone on the 70 centimeters so I can test it. Nah, nobody. Well, nice to see the grand total of fuck all happening on these upper bands. Did something there, made it do. Put the game in there, please. Some broadcasting there. Uh, we've always had that though. Anything on fifty two megahertz? Ah, oh, no, no spikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, Skanking can't do fifty two megahertz band very well, it amplifies too much shite. Huge amount going on. 
I don't think we can get any Noahs on this, but let's have a look. Twenty-one thirty-six. That's gonna be a good one. Um, uh, that's barely reasonable. Twenty-one twenty-five. It's barely visible again. It's Fifteen still ahead of it. Twenty one oh four, too far over. Uh, I mean, it's been fifteen minutes away, and it? it's not going to be worth the tenth to get this one. I don't think it's too far in the Atlantic. Hmm. That's the pagers. No, oh, those work. Well, they don't sound right. There's another pager down here by the looks of it. I've never noticed this one before. It's not a harmonic of... No, it can't be. It's definitely a different pager system down here. Let's see if I can get the 350 one in. Just in case it's some sort of ghost signal of that. I think it is. See, that's the problem with the RTL. It's, yeah. It suffers a lot with ghost signals. That's the one. It's, that's the actual signal. Oh, Snowzark, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, still producing a ghost of that there. Excuse me. That 153 by 350, that's the signal it should be on. That's the frequency it should be on. So why is it broadcasting down at 151.42? Yeah, yeah. It's weird. That's a go. It's 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 all. Yeah, it's a, it's that copy of that one. And the gain is all the way down as well. In fact, I can turn the gain down even less. I know that's a strong signal, but close. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's repeat, the, um, 
put it this way. Oh, ladies are on 40 meters. Nice. I might have to have a look at them later. Um, give me a second. What? I've got to do something. I was going to do something. What was I going to do? I am not with it. I was going to do something and I've forgotten. Pull my phone out to do something. But no. Yeah, no, that pager signal is. Uh, oh, yeah, it is International Women's Day. Yeah, yeah. So this is the RTL SDR V4 I'm using. I'm sort of, yeah, I'm sort of testing it out because my plan is, so you know I was saying before I was going to put another antenna switch in and have basically scan king go, so SDR play, 50 centimeter patch SMA to the first switch. And then having the Scan King import to, and then another output, uh, and then another input from another switch where the two, the e I know, I know, Akira, I saw it this morning, Akira, Akira Toriyama died. It's not good, man, not good. Although there's another guy, Toriyo Taro or someone who sort of takes over, so I don't know whether he'll continue it on. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a shame, really. Died too young, 68. I mean, it's good age, but it's not, if that makes sense. I mean, what's the like, average life expectancy? About 75, something like that. But yeah, now what I was saying, um, uh, yeah, so I'm testing out the SDR so I can avoid having to... Um, uh, pay for another switch. So I'm thinking, keep the Scan King in the S into the RTL SDR, and literally just use that for VHF and UHF. It works quite well for ADSB. Maybe not quite as strong as the. Um, I don't know. In some days it seems stronger than the um, SDR play, and other days it isn't. But yeah, m the only thing that's putting me off about the RTL SDR is there's a lot of duplicated ghost signals. And I'll show you some really bad ones. If I go down to the air band, uh, 130-something. Let's go to the air band. So you've got all the air traffic control. Give me a second. AM 6000. Turn up the gain a little bit. Auto gain doesn't work on the V4. Yeah, fair that, mate. So, yeah, you've got the air band is nice and clear there. But if I go just all the way to the end, so I'm not quite out of the air band, and it's not going to do it tonight, here we go. It won't do it tonight now to prove me wrong. But if I can get to the end, here we go. That is Radio China International up here. There's a cluster of Radio Chinas. Now I don't know if that's down to how the V4 RTL SDR handles shortwave. I don't know if it's got an inbuilt up mix, so I didn't think it needed it. I thought it was somehow able to tune down. But that is, as you can clearly hear, Radio China. I can... Right, if I turn the gain up more. It's quite clear, Radio China International. Radio China International on what? 136.735? Is that the 13th or 14th harmonic of that? Because <laughs> actually, if I... And bear in mind, this is with a Scan King antenna, which doesn't actually work that well in HF. If I go down to... There we go, shortwave broadcast. We turn the gain down a bit, because it's too much. Ci 
There you go. That was what we were listening to up in the air band. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good music. I like a bit of uh, traditional Chinese music, but I don't want it interfering with my air traffic controllers, you know what I mean? Saying that, though, it is a good little SDR. Yeah, every band, yeah, that's it, mate. Those Chinese need to be everywhere to get their propaganda over. Where'd it go? You get out on a CB band. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you meant to get it up on the air band, though. Well, that'd be, what, 13th, 14th harmonica I'm getting it on. <laughs> Watchdog has pledged further efforts to address the pressing issues of regional protectionist practices. Book of Genesis chapter 17. What's this? I'll give you a moment to find it when you click to the 17th chapter <laughs> of Genesis. Just leave it open there on your lap because this morning my, my teaching is entitled... Oh, here we go. WBCQ World's Last Chance. Hey, that's quite clear on the scan ping from fucking America. Ooh, it's not a bad signal from America, that. That's on an uh, that's on a setup that is not set up for. Um, oh, sorry, hold on a minute. I was just testing my internet speed. I've just had it upgraded today. Let's have a look. Oh, fuck. I can't bother logging again. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, go on it now. I don't hear whatever. It's like here that God is triune, that God is composed of three persons, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, what and all three persons that oh, are considered all go. mighty. Download that this shit. This is a popular idea that many churches and Christians <laughs> have heard. <laughs> 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 That's fucking ridiculous. I love it. 900 meg down for the win, mate. For the win. I'll do a 4K stream off the MacBook soon. But yeah, this shouldn't be working this well on... Uh, if I go on to the SDR play... Oh, I don't want SDR, you know, I want the other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the, 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 don't you fucking crash on me. I can have more than one SDR app open at once. I mean, that's coming through strong, and it's also coming through ridiculously strong on the SDR, on the RTL. But the RTL's game seems really good. I don't know, is that a signal to noise? I mean, that's really good. That's that radar, isn't it, there? Let me just narrow this down a bit more. What's that? The 
19 beaten now, 22. That's 24. Ah, 31 then. And look. that one there? I don't know. I don't know if it was 41. It's not. Wait, what? Yeah, 9 33 30. Mad! I can't believe the RTL SDR. Yeah, I know. It is clearer on the SDR play, but the SDR play has synchronous AM mode, which is fucking awesome. That synchronous AM mode is fucking brilliant. But yeah, that, that, that's the only issue with the uh, RTL SDR, is that it does get ghost signals. Shortwave ghost signals as well. I mean, I can't even believe that it's picking up shortwave as well as it is. I'm quite impressed with the shortwave performance of it, to be honest with you. I think it's picking up that radar, isn't it? I'm curious uh, if I can pick shit up on the 40 meter band to be, with it. Oh, hello. There's a lot of buzzing now. Well, there's a lot of noise. Ooh, that's good. I wait for me to test something. Give me a second. I do apologise for the horrible noise you're getting. Is that on that? Ah, it's on the bloody carrier, isn't it? Have a look. Oh, I'm in the wrong bloody mode. Fucking beautiful you are you can't always be untidy luckily you're the younger of your schoolmates and ought to be much more useful and prettier than our year sisters today they'll be dressed in nines for sure so you can't be too sloppy as Lady Eric what is this there shouldn't be anything broadcasting on it her school almost all her living expenses were spent on all kinds of outfits seven four one five i wonder if the s i wonder if it's picking stuff up but it shouldn't be I mean, it's weird. Seven, four, one, five. Oh, that's, that's the moment of the Uno. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, God, I've broken shit. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me it's fucking forgotten my Uno layout. Are we just open it again? No, that's good. That's right. Now, how open, close down. You don't need to... I'll get on it in a second. Give me a second. I've just tested something. Seven, four, one, five. I want to see, because that's nothing should be broadcast at 7415, not a radio station Ooh, anyway. Hmm. And I don't know if it's just the RTL SDR picking up ghost signals. But no, clearly not. Well, 7325, that sounds like an SSTV frequency. I don't know. What the hell's this?
dead enough, I should be broadcasting now there. Dead. Right, let me switch to the east antenna. A little bit better on the east, slightly, not by much. Well, you said there's a load of ladies on the 40. Go check it out. Uh, maybe a mouse, uh, mice, mice, with, uh, if there are uh, several of them. Uh, normally there are several. Hey, uh, get on here. Ooh, there was a very, very weak signal. I think it was Mike 7. I'm not sure. Uh, discesa in scaletta che entra qui nel sac. Alright, let's see if it's the uh, Yankees. 20 meters works better. That's FTA. I'm picking up America so much better now. I've got a west facing antenna. Oh, he sounds excitable. Give me a cool sign. I want to. I'm hoping you're in Brazil. Let me switch over to the east. Yeah, you've got weaker, so... <laughs> this guy's well excited. Oh, no, I've lost him. I'd be surprised if the skanking in the SDR, RTL SDR can do it. Wow, you got him strong. There, little RTL SDR is not doing so bad. I don't think it the, R, the RTL SDR doesn't seem to warn you when you're pushing it into overload, though. That's the only downside. Oh, the SDR play will go overload. Yeah, he's in up sideband mode. Saying that though, the uh, RTLSDR is using the antenna designed for. I wonder. Okay. Okay, amigo Pedro, gracias. 
el día a día, en el intervalo que tienes ahí de dedicación, estás por ahí monitoreando. Oh, God, it's the wrong computer. Duh. Trying to do Google Translate on the wrong fucking machine. Because it hasn't got the microphone input. Oh, don't translate it to Russian, I want it in English. Yes, very well, I'll give you a check. It's in Venezuela. Our friend Jose Luis, since he avoids five, Japan, Japan. You reckon Mexico? Ah, oh, Mr. Signal! Charlie Oscar. Hey, ah, oh, missed it. <laughs> Sorry, this has just made me laugh. The Google Translate at the end. Delivery Pedro, uh, Delivery Pedro, thank you for answering that. When four Charlie Oscar reigns, deliver the kilo to Guatemala. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking drug deal's going on. <laughs> deliver the kilo to Guatemala. <laughs> we shall take it to the Cynthia Americans that way. Get the narco sub. The Coast Guard, they be on to you. Delivery. Well, it is translating, but it's gibberish. Venezuela keeps coming up. Ah, Jose Luis in Venezuela. Maybe, I don't know. No, there's a K in there because he's a kilowatt. Ah, there you go. Ooh, where's this one from? That sounds like an American accent. No, that's Canadian. I think you said Hotel Echo Charlie. I think I missed it. He'll say it better than it because I'm speaking back to him. Okay, the Oscar Hotel station. Uh, what's the call again? I know, some of these. That's what I got my phone out for. I want to put the heating on. I'm fucking cold.
14, 3, 2, 3. Give me a second, I've got to put the heating on, I'm fucking cold. Italy to Oscar Hotel Oscar. Uh, the call sign here is Victor Echo number 2, 1, 2. Victor Echo 2, Hotel La Tango Charlie. Uh, very, very good, uh, Luciano. Very, very nice. Uh, your radio, uh, which radio did you say you were using? That's, uh, what is your radio? Over. Ah, oh, there you go. Canadian. Come on, heat and turn on. I'm bloody cold. There we go. Okay, Victor Echo 2, Hotel Tokyo, Canada. Okay, very good. Uh, Tango Sierra 590 with the ACOM amplifier and the four element mono band. Uh, congratulations. Very nice setup. I am using the Foxtrot Tango 991 Alpha with. Uh, uh, so be uh, sobby I thought that was like. Uh, so Bane. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, 305, uh, 350, 350, <laughs> second on knock this I love those knock filters are you still tuning all this in on your malahide thing or have you got another setup you listen to it on Still, I'm still tempted by that Malahide DSP2. I really, really am. But yeah, yeah. So are you picking all these up on on the Malahide then, are you? Ah, you got a Texan as well. Sorry about the noise, give me a second, I'm just going to knock it. I love that box filter! I could live with that little bit of noise. That noise is awful. I wonder if I can double notch it. Put one there. Nah, it won't work. I ain't gonna be able to put... I'm just gonna have to go for the one in the middle. Works lovely though. There we go. I might be testing the RTL SDR out here. Well, I'm on the RSP1H still. Hello, Giorgio from November 4th. Hmm. 
Okay, let's get him on this then and see if we can get some callers through. Uh, let's see, Juliet Fox shot. Uh, John, your call. Going, John. I'm going to have to turn my antenna towards you, John. I can't hear you. You're who you're asking it out. I know you're asking if someone is still there. Let me turn the antenna towards you. Let me turn my antenna towards you, mate. There's one facing east. Oh, no, that didn't work. I'll go back to the west. Tell you what, though, having the twin antennas has really made a difference. Having that one in the west, just to be able to switch to. Because I look, oh, he's gone now. If he talks again, the difference is quite dramatic. Look, you can barely get him on that. On the on the original speaker wire antenna, he's he's barely there. There you go. But on the west antenna, he's, you can hear him quite clearly. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's not like super clear, but he is clear. Clearer. Right. Let me get rid of I am going to be playing with the RTL SDR. So we know, I know that the old dump 1090 works. So look, there we go. There's some aeroplanes and shit. And oddly enough, that still works in the same connection as the SDR Uno does. Uh, so give it a few seconds to populate. Look, there you go. Gets a nice amount in that does. So, we're looking quite good. But as I said, the, the issue I've got with the RTL SDR is it does seem to suffer a lot with ghost stations coming in. In places where you don't want them. Let's see if there's anything on the two meter band. There's a guy here earlier, but... There he is. Tune it. Put it on in the background. I'm still receiving it really strong from Daventry. And I had a shout through it every day at 8 o'clock. Just to see if there was any activity in the evening or if anybody was monitoring. If anyone was monitoring. I'm monitoring, mate. No, but, you know, it, it, it intrigues me a bit like the same way I used to check Dunstable Beacon on 23. Um, I'll keep a track on, on Daventry. Um, their repeater, GB3XZ, just to see how far south it covers, because it certainly covers here at, uh, uh Gayton. Um, Gayton, I know where that is. i to see how far south I can hear it, Gayton. Can I hear the person speaking back to you? Gayton, 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 where's that? Northampton, Shia. Ah, Bugbrook, Milton Key, Milton Mousel, Blizzworth. Yes, I know where that is. Not too far away. He's actually quite close. That's why he's quite strong. But his person speaking to him isn't that strong. It does make me wonder if, um, if maybe the RTL. Uh, if the, what's it called, the SDR player can do it. I'll tell you what, the RTL SDR, in my opinion, so I've used it now for a few days, not a massive amount, so I've been busy fucking sanding floors and preparing the hallway and the stairs for painting and shit. Uh, so I've been getting home from work and doing that, which is why I've not been on for the last couple of nights and why I'm absolutely half dead at the moment. But, for the little I have played with it, 25 quid, it's a steal. It's a great piece of equipment. The I've got the V4 one, which can do HF. It does all the way down to 500 kilohertz with no fucking around with up converters or anything like that. 
So I've yeah, this this is basically the twenty five quid it cost me. Free ship in AliExpress. It was brilliant. Um but Oh yeah, I know, I know. Ah, uh, I might get some rest. But you can see where the RSP one A is four times more expensive. The RSP one A just from the word go was a lot more of just a plug and a play experience. All the extra filtering that it's got, the uh, the RF notch filters, so you can fill out medium wave and FM and DAB. Um, and then when you're on specific bands, it, it activates band pass filters. So the software integration, you just plug it in, install the apps. Don't get me wrong. The RTL SDR is open is basically works with everything. It's the go-to SDR. I think it was the thing that brought SDR to the mainstream because it was just a cheap TV stick that people realised that if they hacked it, they could get it to do other things. And so that's why all the software is designed for. Oh, electrifying. So, yeah, no, so for 25 quid, this little SDR is fantastic. Okay, the weekend's coming, so don't worry, everyone will be in the shack. So, we'll do the same again, because that's the best way to get some activity going, isn't it? The best way to carry <laughs> affairs over. I'm turn him down so I can think for myself, because I'm, I'm fucking too tired, my brain isn't working. But, yeah, the RSP1A is... You can definitely see why it's four times more expensive. The SDR Uno, for a start, this is the original waterfall colours. This is Air Spy software, though. This is not. This is not the. Uh... Yeah, the V4 SDR is pretty good. The as I said, you can tell it's got lack of filtering now. Um, so, as I said, the fact that I'm getting Radio China up in fucking the air band is, uh, quite spectacular, but also not good either. Um, whereas the RSP-1A won't do that because it's got bandpass filtering in it. The, um, it's connected to a Scan King SE-1500 antenna, but it has got a 30 decibel low noise amplifier on it. Um, but it has it's going through an FM stop filter, which knocks FM down by like minus 70 decibels. But yeah, I wasn't expecting shortwave stations to be the ones that fucking overpower it. It's mad. The V4, though, I have read that somewhere a lot of the software has problems with the auto gain part of it. So just use try and manually tweak, tweak the gain, which is what I'm doing here. But even at minimum gain, you know, Radio China is still coming up in the air band. If I go one, three, seven, I think it was. Oh, I've gone too far up. There we go. So here we go. Air band voice. Here we are. Let me turn that back up. There you go. This is a uh, Radio China, but in the air band. Let me let me just double check. I mean, I'm I'm bear in mind I'm criticising the RTL SDR here for picking up the air band. Radio China in the air band. I'm going to try the at uh, the SDR play. Just see. So one three six by six fifty. So if we remember that, I'm just going to switch the antennas over. Bear with me a second. I have a feeling the SDR play won't do it because it's got a lot more fil filtering in it. That's the one thing the SDR play is very good for, is all the extra filtering that it's got. But bear with me, I'm going to disconnect the antenna, so we're going to lose everything here. 
on three six by six five zero. One three six by six five zero. One three six by six five zero in AM mode. Bloody hell, SDR connect. What's going on here? God. What is that? One three six five six five zero. Yeah, look, uh, it's not there. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty clean. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Don't get me wrong, but 25 quid is fantastic bit of kit. Uh, but you can really see where the RSP1A is the step up. If that makes sense, I'm a man. I, I don't know how much better, say, the Air Spy stuff, because that's even more expensive than the SDR Play stuff. I don't know how much more expensive, how much better the Air Spy stuff is over the uh, SDR Play stuff. But for tw as I said, for 25 quid, I'm quite, yeah, the performance of that is fantastic, to be honest with. You really can't go wrong with that. So I'm think my plan is. Because my original plan was, now I've got two wire antennas, uh, an east and a west facing one. I was um, I was going to get another antenna switch uh, and then have all three antennas connected up to the SDR play and then I could switch between them. But then I, I um, my uh, RTL SDR V4 came from China the other day and I plugged it in and it was working really well. The ADSB stuff on it is actually almost as good as the SDR play. In fact, I would say it's, it's 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 very close between them on the ADSB. So if I do uh, dump 1090 and it ain't going to work because there's nothing connected, bear with. So if I connect the RTL SDR V4 here. The, oh, God, one minute. Didn't like that. Uh, dump 1090, here we go. Oh, press any key. Uh, signal noise. Oh, I know why. Yes, I've got the yeah, AirSpy software open. Oh. So if I go, dump 1090, third time lucky. There we go. It actually picks up bloody well. I mean, just give it a few seconds to populate. And, and as I said, stuff, there hasn't been a huge amount on the um, local repeaters over the last few days. I have been trying to listen into them, but there's been nothing to tune into. So I've not been able to really test it. That guy in Gayton, where, or wherever he said he was from, uh, he's been the only person I've heard on the local hand bands. So you look, there you go. The, the ADSB performance isn't so bad. I mean, it's starting to quiet down now because it's nearly 10 o'clock at night. These will be some of the last major flights coming over this evening. But my thinking is now, now I've got the uh, RTL SDR, rather than fucking around and getting a... Uh, I have got a DMR decoder and I have used it, but there's just nothing there at the moment. If I... Give me a second. Let me... I'll fire up the AirSpy software again. Uh, one, four, five. Just got to get the gain set right. I think it's slightly higher. There we are. Where's our matey boy who's down here? See, there's very little around where I am. Yeah, I got the DSD Plus app up. So how I'm running it is I've got two laptop, two computers set up. So I've got my laptop here, which the SDRs are plugged into. Then it sends, um, obviously, the video out to the capture card. But then it also sends the audio out through a uh, Go XLR mixer. And then I run DSD Plus on the um, stream PC. Got that worked out quite well now.
went off the scale, do you remember? I mean, this guy's lovely and clear. I mean, this two meter band's actually not too bad. I don't mind a little bit of crap in the air band because I don't listen to it that much. I mean, there's only so much. Climb to fucking 25,000 feet. Look at that. Climb to 25,000 feet. That is interesting. Do you know what I mean? Although that being said, I did hear on the air traffic control frequencies last night. Uh, I think it was EasyJet or something. There was a medical emergency on board. Uh, I think someone just passed out in the aisle or something. Doctor was with him. So you do get to hear the odd interesting tidbit. But not a huge amount. Yeah, it's not... See, for me, there's just not a huge amount up here. Oh, hello, what's this? That's just that noise spike, isn't it? Those old guys aren't on 433 or whatever they were before. Oh, what's that? That's just a beacon, isn't it? This is where I do wish I had the 10 meg spe uh, visible width that I have on the SDR play. As I said, the, the, I'm not knocking the V4 for the money. Uh, it, it's fucking fantastic. And uh, the fact that you can do HF on it um, without messing with up converters it is a good piece of equipment. But the SDR play is that step above and I would say is worth the extra money as well. But that being said... The RTL SDR works better on Android and other stuff because it was, you know, it's, people have written driv drivers for it for everything, haven't they? There's nothing there. It's just a few noise spikes. We've got any gain on? Uh, let's crank the gain a little bit, see if I can pick anything up now. Oh, nice big waterfall now. Yeah, see, I don't know if it's just where I am or just that the radio hobby's dead, but I've got nothing. I, the, uh, I have been listening to the local repeater down in Tring. But there doesn't, hasn't been anyone on it for a little while. No, nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, no, that's that spike, isn't it? Oh, hello, what's this? Noise? Yeah, it is, isn't it? I bet. Something there, but I think that's just a, a beacon that's always been there. Ah, uh, very rarely is. I can switch over to the SDR play and check it out. Give me a second. Yeah, I think CB is still quite popular in Holland, though. Because when I listen in on the web SDR, there's always something on there. Oh, hello. Is this a new signal I'm picking up here? Ah, it's a fucking repeater beacon. 
I'm not. Golf Bravo Free Echo Hotel. That's the beacon. What that? Where did I lose that? Golf Bravo Free Echo Hotel. Banbury's local repeater. So that's not. That's quite a decent range on that. I mean, Banbury's what? 30, 40 mile away? Just a shame nobody's using it. So it goes to show the, uh, the RTLS DRV4 is working on it. You know what, just for shits and giggles, just because technically the Scan King should be able to do it, it doesn't do it well, but I am going to have a look and see if it'll pick anything up on the under the 60 meter band. station, isn't it? I didn't think I'd find anything with the RTL SDR on the 160. I said the Scan King has never been that good. Are you in West Yorkshire? Whereabouts? What station is this? 3955. Oh, nothing should be broadcasting on 3835. Let's turn the game down a bit. Oh, hello, we get, I tell you what, it's not bad down on HF, even with the antenna, ah, uh, Wakefield, that's near Leeds way, is it, if I'm not mistaken? Tell me, uh, that's... Are you near the M62? I don't know Yorkshire that well, but I know the M62 because uh, my wife is from Bolton. And so I've got the in-laws all up there. And I know that Leeds is about an hour away from Bolton. It's, uh, that's commute. Uh, wife said she used to commute from Bolton when she worked at Rampton. Uh, doing a uh, mental health nurse training. Oh, I th yeah, I think she said she can use some Bolton. Ah, crap. I needed to... I need to turn sticky tuning back on. Why 
what you what SDR software do you use for your V4? This is obviously SDR Sharp. I do have SDR Plus Plus as well somewhere. Stop opening Uno. I keep fucking doing that by mistake. Oh, that's nice and clear. I'm actually surprised at how well this is handling HF. Without an an with with the antenna I never used for HF. So I'm quite happy with that. As I said, uh, the Scan King says it can technically go down to 500 kilohertz, but I always found anything below like 100 megahertz, it was a bit wank. The speaker wire antennas performed better. <laughs> oh, some FT8. Oh, you know what? I've not done my studio or studio. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Um. Oh, studio. <laughs> Oh, it's old, is it? Ah, okay. What the fuck is signal strength on that? Actually, I never checked if anyone was on 17 meter band. Let's go with the West Antenna. There we go. That brings about the 17 meters noise. Oh, what if I get my Brazilian going? Let's have a listen. <laughs> ah, fair that. Let me have a look at the CB band. I don't think there's anything up there on CB. Nah, look, mate. CB's dead where I am. 
Ain't nobody using that. Ten and twelve will be uh, a bit of shit tonight because it's night time. Yeah, there's nothing there, mate. Look, CB. That's noise. six metre band I got something on there for the first time the other day but typically nobody's there tonight Station is just peeking into a God, don't think I'll be staying on stream much longer. I'm starting to flag. I have literally been um, burning the candle at both ends the last week. Going out to work and then coming home and getting on my hands on these sanded stairs. 27781253. Oh, no way. Yeah, nothing here, mate. If I go CB. 27781253. I say that and then some fuckers there. I can't believe it. Yeah, Phoebe's dead. <laughs> yeah, and then there's some fucker there. Oh, okay. Oh, I lose him if I turn to the east antenna, though. The new, the new hotness with the west antenna. Let's have a look and see how well the um, RTL gets it. 27, 7, 8, 1. Right. Let's meet VFO. We're doing down there.
Yeah, it's there. No, it's not. The mouse is there, it's there. He's there? No, stop. No way. Oh, I, I, I laugh my head off of the uh, S. Where's the audio? Squelch. there is he strong enough for me to pick anything up though try not to amplify the noise too much talk to me he is there but he's not strong enough to get anything off him on the uh, on the RTL SDR, but if I go back to RSP1A, <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> have you heard him then? As I said, Thunderpole, the CB guys, are literally just down the road from me. I was surprised that Northampton hasn't got more in it. <laughs> and yeah, Tim, give me a second. Yeah, Web SDR in Holland gets loads on the CB band. I'll go over here. Click somewhere there. Zoom into the band. Let's make this as big as possible. Something there already, look. Seven, three and three. Nothing there tonight. There is something here, whatever that is. Some form of data, I suspect. Oh, Jesus, I am fucking tired. I do believe I might end up calling it a night. Sorry. I was going to try and go for a bit longer. I was going to try and go for a bit longer. But, yeah, I think I am done 
fire up my aeroplane map and just let them come in. Always interesting to see them coming in. And I think I might end up disappearing. I'm just waiting for these to populate for a bit, see how far we're getting. I have li so I've literally been burning the candle at both ends for been getting less than six hours of sleep a night. And if Scaz is here be like six hours, that's fucking for rich people. But me, I need my beauty sleep. I don't maintain this ugly complexion with uh without it. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been as I said, sanding floorboards, fucking that was a nightmare. I think they used fucking double-sided sticky tape made out, made out of Satan's spunk. It was that sticky. Um, it was fucking awful to get up. Got it up. Fucking, I tried everything. Sugar soap, WD-40, nail polish remover. Fucking, in the end, I just... Oh, thank you, Smiggy. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's just um, OBS, and I just, um, I said it, it's ha handy because I've got uh, multiple computers. As I said, I've got the laptop, which is running all the actual SDR set up. Excuse me. And then it goes through a separate streaming PC that's next to it. Um, so actually, it makes things a lot easier. So like things like DSD+, Plus, I can actually um, pipe through the decoded audio while muting out the uh, data signal behind it, which is quite cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, I can capture the individual windows. Actually, on a different note, I want to see if Matey Boy the Pirate is on there tonight. He lives on 7100. Or around there. Ah, oh, they must have caught up with him. He was 7100, weren't he, Tim? Oh, uh, the Russian pirate. Or the Ukrainian. I, I think it's Ukrainian pirate. Because he was calling for a nuclear holocaust on, on Russia. Because I actually translated that, I ran it for the Google Translator, put the voice mode on, and then just piped it straight through. Ah, oh, he was quite fuck. Is honestly, it was fucking weird. I don't know if you ever. Uh, there's might it'll be on uh, one of the vods. There's a um, stream I did a little while back, uh, and uh, as I said, I ran it through Google's Translate, and it was coming up things like fucking. Yes, uh, the West needs to nuke nuke Russia. Russia needs to cease to exist, and fucking uh, Russia is the bloodthirsty aggressor and stuff like that. I was like, fuck it yeah, out. This is Ukrainian, no doubt. They must have found him. Oh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong antenna, aren't I, for this band? There we go. That's the better antenna. Five nine over. Oh, hello. What's up in here? I have to admit, I am quite lucky where I live, though, that allows me to pick up quite a lot without too much issue. Ooh. I wonder what the local oscillator frequency is for the RTL SDR, and if I can pick that up on the SDR play. Well, ah, 28.8. 28.8. So if I now 
です。What the hell? Uh, no problem. Uh, what do you think? Someone's fucking talking over this guy, being all uh, uh, making silly noises. Right, if I go 28.8, in theory then, I should see a spike of the local oscillator from the uh, RTL SDR. And I'm not. I say that, I wouldn't even know what I'm looking for. Ooh, could that be it? Let me, let me turn it off. Let me un unplug it. That's no, not that. I thought that might have been the local oscillator then. That'd be. I just. Uh, I wouldn't know what. I said. I'm assuming it would just be a tone. Because that's how the TV licensing people catch you, is if you. Um, well, they used to catch you by um, using direction finding bands and tuning into the local oscillator frequencies of TVs. And basically using their. Detection vans outside your house pointing at your TV area, and if I get a local oscillator frequency off it, they would then uh, be like, Hello, you're using a fucking TV, mate. You need to pay the TV license, so I'm going to send the heavies in. Thing is, I quite like the BBC. I like the fact there's no adverts on it. In this day and age where everyone's trying to bombard you with adverts, I like the fact that there's no adverts on it. Like big, big sporting events and the Eurovision and all that tend to be better on the BBC because they tend to broadcast with better technology. Like if you watch, um, if you watch an England football match on and. It was when they were in the Euros final. It was on BBC and ITV simultaneously. BBC was just the better coverage because, just for a simple fact, that it had 5.1 surround sound as the um, broadcast audio. And if you've got a home cinema system like I've got, it actually puts you in the crowd. It sounds like you're in the crowd. So the old England band, the, who always played The Great Escape, sounded like they were up and behind me. And you could hear all the fans around you, commentators just laser-focused in the middle speaker. Whereas ITV only used to broadcast in stereo. Well, they still only broadcast in stereo. Which, you could run through the Dolby Up mixer, which works all right, but compared to having a 5.1 surround sound broadcast it's, it's no competition but yeah the TV license so a lot of people complain oh it's only a fun the BBC I don't even watch the BBC but yeah there's some I, I don't I it's, don't get me wrong I think it's a bit stupid that you do have to have a TV license it seems a bit outdated to be honest with you but I know that if they made you pay a subscription to get BBC, nobody would pay it, or very few would pay it, and the BBC would go under. And to be honest with you, I like the, and as I said, for me, I would hate to see the BBC with adverts. Like you see all the other national broadcasters. BBC's frequencies, oh Christ. So you got. On the radio side, you got um, Radio 4 on long way for another month. That's at 198. Radio 5 Live is 693. And you are too close to the German border, so you might not get it. But if you were on the western side of uh, Holland, um, you would actually be able to probably pick up some of our FM repeaters of Radio 1. Oh, 71, 70. Let's have a look around here.
Oh, someone's there. It's very faint. I can hear somebody calling me, but there's uh, somebody playing music. I don't know if you can hear it up wherever you are, but uh, there's somebody playing music here I'm trying to QRM, so I'm going to be stubborn and not move. This is EA5JZ, CQDX. Oh, so the uh, Scottish guy in Spain with the huge antenna. EA5JZ. I know this guy. Japan Zulu. Okay. This guy has an enormous antenna. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I always found I found it weird. I was like, wait a minute, isn't that a Spanish call sign that you've got the thickest fucking Scotch accent that I've ever heard? And it turns out he just moved to Spain to put up a fucking great big antenna. Well, no word of a lie, he's got a photo of it. Look, he's got a beautiful, like, forest view. Giant fucking antenna in the middle of it. Hey, look at that, lovely views of Spain. Fuck off, antenna, it's massive. Honestly, if you lived in Spain, you'd fucking walk up there. I think that was the fucking Spanish Broadcasting Association or whoever they are. Is it RTL or R RTL? I think it's Irish, isn't it? RTL's the Spanish. Ryuno, that's the one. No, that's Italian, isn't it? Ryuno and Ride Duo. Where's that Spanish? You can tell my old man never used to pay for proper sky when we were kids. We always had the Spanish ones. Canal Plus from France. Dad, can we have Sky? No, we've got Sky at home. The Sky at home is fucking Canal Plus and Ryuno. They don't speak the English. <laughs> I do like the fact <laughs> my old man used to have DMAC. It was great. I said my old man never paid for Sky. We did have Sky for a little bit, and no word of a lie, he bear in mind he was in the IT department at work. He'd just been promoted up to the IT department at the big company he worked for. He borrowed one of the laptops, just an old obsolete one that was just going to go into the bin. He uh, borrowed it, and no word of a lie, he had this, oh, bear in mind, this was like the early 90s with analog satellite, so you know, we're talking like 30 fucking years ago, and he had this giant fucking laptop that you had to have the lid partially open so it wouldn't turn off. And then out of the serial port of that, we're not even talking USB, we're talking like the old school serial or parallel port. Little flexi ribbon cable to a fucking circuit board that was the size of a viewing card. That went into the front of the skybox and no word of a lie, this laptop had what appeared to be the Matrix running on it. But it decrypted all, the, it decrypted all of the sky channels. It fucking was brilliant. <laughs> And then when the old man moved away from that, he um, got something called DMAC, which was basically the Scandinavian version of Sky. And the good thing about DMAC is on the Scandinavian channels, you used to get all of the movies in English, but with just like Nordic subtitles. So they weren't so bad. And it, you, know, you could watch it. Unless you had someone speaking foreign in the movie, where you would normally have English subtitles at the bottom, yeah, you'd kind of miss half of it. But, and then after that, me old man had this really fancy setup, this big, um, bear in mind, I think analog sky dishes were topping out at like 60 cent, so they were 60 and 80s, weren't they, in the analog days? And I think with the mini dishes, you went 40 and 60. 
So I think in the biggest the biggest analog satellite dish you had was an 80 centimeter dish, and you had that if you kind of lived in the middle, of the, right on the upper regions of where the analog satellite would cover. So I think up in Scotland and stuff, you would have to have had an 80 centimeter dish, whereas the further south it was smaller dish you could get away with. Yeah, my dad had a 1.2 meter fucking dish in the back garden on a fucking motor. And it was one of those where you would change the channel on the fucking skybox and the dish would go, and you'd have to wait about half a minute or so for it to work because you were waiting basically for the dish to go <laughs> and it'd move it across and up and down as well. It was fucking brilliant. It was a clever as hell setup. Again, all the way back in the 90s. You know, you change your channel and the fucking satellite dish moves for you. <laughs> As I said at my mum's house, I uh, she had, the satellite dish was quite loose on the uh, outside my sister's bedroom, so I was able to fucking um, just nudge it around to the German porn channels when my mum would go out and I'd just pull it back to the fucking English channels when when she came home. But yeah, the old old analog satellite man. I miss those days. I do miss those days. There's something just nostalgic about analog. The fact that you can hear analog coming out of the noise. You know, a weak signal right on the edge, and you can just hear it. If it was digital, it'd be nah. You can't have this. It's it's not there. I want to hear some J.A. I've only ever had one Far Eastern contact on HLF, and that was a Japanese guy a few years, uh, a few years, a few days ago. I've had, now I've got a West-facing antenna, I can get American contacts, a Brazilian contact, and Canadian contacts quite well. <laughs> but I haven't had any sort of Far East contacts. I think I had one Japanese guy. I've never... For me, the Holy Grail would be getting an Australian. Actually an Australian, not fucking up in Indonesia or somewhere. Because I have had an Australian, but I think he was in one of the... Um, Asian countries, so he is a bit closer. For me, the Holy Grail would be someone in Australia or a New Zealand call sign. If I could pick them up on my antennas, I'd be over the moon. Chances of it happening are probably slim to none. I'd have to wait for the planets to align and the fucking sun to have certain fucking solar activity or something. But you never know. It, it might be like that. It'd be that like in four, the dark world where the fucking nine realms are lying and you can just jump through the through the portals to the next fucking planet. That'd be how it is. All the planets are lying, nine realms come together and suddenly I can pick up people from Australia clear as day. <laughs> But for me, Australia would be the Holy Grail contact. If I can get Australia, I'd be happy. Seventy-one thirty-two. East antenna works better for this one. Ooh, what have I done here? 
Did I just break that? I did. Ah, oh, great. I broke the pole in the blind, so I leaned... Back of the chair broke the pole of my bloody bit blind. Oops. I'll have to get a new one. Oh, I'll fucking do. There we go. Is there a pool guy on the other side? Nice. You must be getting so much clearer than me. IKF, yeah. Just now waiting for the Malahite on Banger to go down in price again. Let me have a look. It's fucking well high at the moment. So you've got that one, which has got similar kind of reviews, but the one that's linked on all the YouTube channels and the one I think you bought was this one. And it's 284 notes. Fine now, bring the our uh, man, it. coupon page in. Look, ah, five percent. See, for me, it was saying on the other browser, it was saying it was 10 percent higher than normal. But this hasn't updated. It's actually it was 250 quid last week, weren't it? I'm annoyed because I've now got the money to uh, get it. I just have not. I'm not going to pay 290 notes for it. But I know that if I order a DSP one, I'd probably be disappointed. Nine percent off, they might get it. Yeah, it is well worth it. I know, I know. As I said, it's just pissed me off because. I've just got to the point where I could get it, but it's gone up by 30 quid. But that is the one I want. That's the one I'm going to get. That's the one you've got, isn't it, Tim? And the reviews are still coming in for this one as well. I go most recent. Look at, you know... In fact, there's quite a few people who have got it. Yeah, I've seen the V4s. The actual other one is the V5. So you've got... Let me have a look. Mala height. ESP. So you've got... Oh, God. So you've got, oh, where, where is it? What the hell? Plus one. I saw it a minute ago. I've, uh, let's get a rally. So, where is it? Where is it? So I'm going to order one off Banggood, really, because... So there's the V3, that's one that also gets very good reviews, but the there is one that's cheaper, but actually 
gets really highly recommended. That's not that one. It's the Deep Black one. Same. It's AliExpress is a nightmare. I don't want to order from them because there's so much stuff on here. And you don't know what the fuck you're going to get with AliExpress ones. Where is it? Where's the Deep Black one? Deep Black, Deep Black, Deep Black, Deep Black. I mean, you've got... Nice. Nice. See, my mate Skaz, he's got a few Balfangs and stuff. He quite likes them. See, I, I, I want the Malahide because it's got a nice wide range on it. And I can just take it out with me in the van then as well. So, all right, give me a second. Yeah, look. This is the one that also gets extremely good reviews. 120 quid cheaper than the Malahite that you have, Tim. But I would... I don't know. I think if I got this, I'd be wanting the one that you've got just because it does things like FT8 decoded and RTTY. This one doesn't because it's the V1 software. But this one has got all the extra filtering and amplifiers and all that that your one has. It is literally the best of the V1 versions, if that makes sense. I always pick up Italy quite well. My east face and antenna is really a southeast antenna. It picks up Radio Romania, uh, Voice of Turkey, Italian contacts, anything southeast picks up fucking amazingly well. India Romeo Zero. November nine, November nine only again. She said he was Italian Navy. Here's the fucking Navy! Italian Navy coastal radio stations! <laughs> In the Navy, you can love your fellow man. In the Navy, <laughs> oh, what this is, is just some bored radio operator in the Navy just fucking putting CQs out. Don't sound like you've got a Giuseppe accent, mate. Right?
Denmark. Chase and antennas, that's not been tuned right. Too high, a noise slow. Uh, anyway, uh, I was, I am going to call it a night now. I was going to call it a night about an hour ago, but we found that dude on CB, and then it, one thing led to another. I am absolutely cream crackered. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got a busy weekend ahead of me, no doubt, doing housework and DIY and shit. But yeah. Anyway. I am tired. And I am going to die in my bed. I am going to get in my pit. And I am going to be comatose. So. Thank you, uh, Smiggy. Uh, Tim. Uh. No, not tomorrow, actually. Uh, I believe uh, I'm going out for a family meal tomorrow night. So, unless I'm back early enough, I don't think I will be. It might be Sunday night now. Yeah, it'll probably be Sunday, maybe. Uh, I, if I'm on, then I'll probably be, I will be on. But, yeah, I, we're going out for a family meal tomorrow night. So... Now that's what tables at six. It might be home for eight o'clock. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thanks, Tim, uh, Smiggy. Um, I think Snowzuck was here earlier. Skaz. Um, I appreciate you being here and hanging out. And I will catch you guys on the next one. 